previously on Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. We exit the Amala network only to find ourselves in another unknown area. Here we find the mysterious lady and old man who decide to give us a candelabra, saying it would provide us with some sort of power in the future. After this encounter, we end up in Ginza, and after exploring the mall, we try to head for Hikawa. Unfortunately, Hikawa's guards wouldn't let us through and so we needed to take a more scenic route through the great underpass of Ginza. Alright, let's see what this place has to offer. Uh, map? We came from here, so let's go over here. Is, are these stairs? Oh, you can go in the water! Uh, let's do that later. Let's check this room first. What do these mannequins have to say? Uh, we're like humans, but we're not. I mean, that's the whole point of being a mannequin, you know? <laughs> we're made to look like them for some reason or another. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You have a voice. Oh, you again. Are we truly that peculiar to you? I'm gonna say yes. Mannequin. We're mannequins. Our destiny is to be slaves to demons. Ah. But we can also feel pain, as you must can. That's why we live in hiding in this underpass. Ah. G get it? So please leave us be. What if I say ah. no? Is there is there a difference? Ah. Then leave us be. No, he just wants to leave you alone. This is just the guy to explain what they are and that's it. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess all of the mannequins animated, and when the demons took over, they were like, Oh, look, humans, we can actually enslave. And promptly enslave them. Fornius? Are these all Fornius? No, they're Yoma Isora. Alright, let's try to get one of them. But... Hang on. Yeah, let's gonna... I'm gonna try to get one of them. Pretty sure you're weak to lightning. You're not weak to lightning. Ice? Not weak to ice. Wind? <laughs> nope. Alright, I got nothing. <laughs> Sexy gaze, analyze, Rakunda. Let's just whack him. Come on, let's just whack him. Oh no, they're healing. Please don't triple Medea. Oh, okay, never mind. You're probably weak to fire. I just realized. Okay, that guy's dead. Guy's not dead, Medea again. Okay, these guys are gonna be a pain to. Please don't kill Lilim. Okay, didn't kill Lilim. These guys are gonna be a pain to deal with. I'm gonna be skipping. If I see these guys, I'm running away basically. But let's try to seduce this one. Do you expect me to join you? Hmm. <laughs> Isora is thinking intently. I will listen to you for one chakra drop, okay? Still not enough. 140 maka. Grr, I still need more! Pay me 190 maka. Okay, you're getting really expensive. Still hesitant? I have no faith in you. What if I don't comply? I see then. Pay me 230 maka. Now I must ask your opinion. Why do you use your life for someone other than yourself? Is there something more important than your own life? Uh... I'm gonna go with yes. Yeah, so... I guess the thing about those conversations is you pick the morally correct one. Which is weird for demons to demand of you, but okay. Isora seems to be satisfied. I am Isora, the Yoma. <laughs> I will travel with you. Isora joined your party. Oh, Isoma, I mean. So we got our, another ice boy back. So I think we're elementally covered again. But the problem is, like, our main character is already, uh, how do you put this, is already ice, so I don't know. And this is Sora doesn't even have the Medea he was using. Damn. Oh well, whatever. I'll deal with it. Probably use him for fusing, if nothing else. Is there nothing back here, really? Guess not. Anyway, I did some housekeeping and now we're going over here to the other side. And I am once again 
I'm not even gonna bother. You guys are just gonna media yourselves. I think for those fights, I really am just gonna skip them because I don't want to get bogged down in something that can heal itself so fast. Eep, don't kill me. Oops, wrong demon. You know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Cash cube. Poison arrow. Huh, probably a poison weapon. Like an item you can use. What about here? Uh, th this underpass is built like a maze, so it's perfect for a hideout. You know, it's not much of a maze if it's a straight line. I kind of took the only possible path here. But okay, whatever makes you feel safe, guys. So let's go up this ladder. Alright, so what's it, how's it looking up here? There seems to be nothing here. That means there's something. No. Usually there are... Some games like to hide treasures in ends like that. So, you know, might as well check. But it wasn't so this time. Alright, what is over here? Boxes. Are these just all living quarters? It looks like it. Is this a child mannequin? Yeah, it is. Hey, do you know Gozu Tenno? No. You blow. <laughs> Straight up, you blow. Uh, I'm sorry. Everyone knows that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, kid. Jeez. I just got here. Not You know, I'm not supposed to know everything. There's a descent ladder here. The red light seems to tell me that that is the right way. Therefore, I'm not going to go there yet. The mantra and the assembly of Nihilo oppose each other because their ideals conflict. So you're telling me the mantra is all feelings and Nihilo is no feelings, is that it? They have very different ideas of how Tokyo should be run, you see. Just like politics, am I right? Ha ha ha. Alright. Let's just go to this awkward end because that's usually, you know, that's usually where hidden stuff is. No one, no one would bother going over all the way over here, right? Right? See, there's a chest over there. Oh, it only becomes red when you're in the water. Okay, so at least the game isn't that toxic. Uh, You know, screw it. There's only two of them. I'm going to fight them for XP. Okay, after some grinding and almost dying. Hang on, let me heal before I forget. Uh, Let's use Kodama to heal because everyone's damaged anyway. And maybe toss a medicine on Makoto because he is the MC and I don't want him to die. Oh. Alright, hang on. I'll be back. Alright, it's full. What do we get? We get a bead chain. Nice. I actually tried selling a bead chain and it, oh, it, it's being offered for 5,000 yen. It's Omaka. It's actually insane. Anyway, I'm not going to deal with this. Yeah, so it's actually insane. But then what it does, it heals your whole party, right? To full. So I can see why it's that expensive. I don't really blame him. I just realized I lucked out in escaping that. Because if the sun was full, then I wouldn't have been able to escape. Um, are we done here? Did you meet the mannequin who collects junk? Yeah, we did. He's an odd one, isn't he? Kinda. But you know, he did sell me some good stuff. Some healing stuff and whatever. What about you? Oh, okay, we already talked to this guy. So, I guess we can go down the ladder in the middle? I wonder what's here. Middle ladder, anything here? Is this the right way or another secret? What? Hmm... Oh, this is a collector. I thought the shop was a collector. Collector mannequin. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, you must be that demon everybody's fussing about. I'm a collector of anything and everything a human would use. If you haven't noticed already. Yeah, I kind of noticed. <laughs> so I'll leave the underpass every so often, convincing the gatekeeper to let me through. You know, technically, you guys can use the clothes because you're, you know, literally mannequins. Well... If you're ever in a jam, feel free to swing by. I like this guy. He, he has a chipper tone. Perhaps you could help me with my collection. And what exactly do you want? Hey, why'd you kick me out? What do you want? Well, if you're ever in a... Perhaps you could help me... That's it? Maybe I just find things then. But I don't necessarily... Like, I don't sell it to him or give it to him. 
I guess I le legit just find things and it goes to him, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're exiting the mannequin domain. Are you the gatekeeper? Yes, you are. Hey, stop right there. This path leads to Ikebukuro, the base of the mantra. It'd be real bad if the mantra came sniffing around at our doorstep, so I can't open the gate. But I'm not the mantra. I can't let you tap. So is that is that where the guy comes into play? Come on, did I do it out of sequence? Hang on. Yeah, something is wrong. He, the guy won't let me out of the gate. Oh. The gatekeeper's not letting you pass through to Ikebukuro, is he? Yeah, how do you get past though? I mean, I'm not even a mannequin. He should let me through, not you. You're the one that can lead the mantra back here. Would you perhaps like me to persuade him to let you through? Sure, what do you want? Then let's make a deal. I'll persuade the gatekeeper to let you carry on with your travels. In return, you have to find something I'm looking for. And what th may that be? I want a bill. It's a small portrait painted by humans. You mean money? It's small yet detailed, and it uses watermarking technology that changes patterns. It had value at one time, I think. I heard that some humans valued it more than their lives. That's accurate. Much as I'd like to find one, I have no clue as to where one might be. You know, with all the junk here, you'd think you'd find a wallet somewhere. <laughs> Though, I heard they were found in abundance where people were crowded together. A city, perhaps. Mm, very likely. I'm sure you'll come across one in no time. You're a demon, after all. So, with that, I entrust you with finding a bill. A city? Do you want me to go all the way back to Shibuya? Uh... I guess... That's the way it be then. I hope the terminal actually works. Anyway, let's jump cut to there. Alright, so at least this cylinder actually connects to the Amala network. I guess the, si the only city he could be talking about is Shibuya, right? I mean, technically it could be Ginza. You know, let's try Ginza first. I might be overthinking this. But we're here though. Maybe maybe I can go to the Nyx, Nyx Lounge. That might be the right place to go. All right, so let's just see um, if it actually is the Nyx Lounge. I'm gonna go heal. All right, so let's see if anything's changed in here. Because technically this is a city, right? Oh. What, you couldn't even get inside the base? <laughs> I didn't think it'd actually be crazy enough to try and go there. Is there a reason why you need to infiltrate the assembly of Nihilo? Let's go with yes. Really? Then let me tell you something. Go see Gozu Tenno. <laughs> Gozu Tenno is the leader of the demons in Ikebukuro. He's no friend of the Nihilo, so he might help you out. You can get to Ikebukuro from the great underpass of Ginza. We already know this. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Um, does anyone have any bills here? What? Huh? Is there a bill in my room, you ask? A bill, as in human money? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you want a bill? Yes, I do. You want to cut a deal? Oh. 20 million, Maka, and the room's yours. Now, whether there's a bill in there or not, it's an entirely different story. What do you think? Will you pay me 20 million, Maka? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Get out of here. Then there's nothing to talk about. Go home. I need to get in here. Some way. I guess I'll need to find that secret back way area to get into this room. Someone was already hint. I think a ghost was hinting it. Was it you? Assembly of Nihilo, but that's not saying much. Not you. Nihil is way too heavy-handed, so it's not you. How do I get into this room? Maybe you have something, some insight? <laughs> Go, you can get to Ikebukuro. No, 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 no. You, you don't have insight on this. Huh, so where do I go? Okay, so after much running around like a dum-dum, 
I just noticed that this building over here is glowing. That is not what I meant. That is not the point I was trying to make, but hang on, hang on. Anyway, yeah, this building is actually glowing, so we can enter here. And if this... And if this serves me right, if my theory serves me right, this should be Loki's room. The door is locked. Will you unlock the door? Yes, please. You unlock the door. Oh, psh, I just got here. <laughs> Skull boy. All right. So there's like three different mystical chests in here and the Kagatsuchi is full. Let's see what we get. Sapphire. How about over here? Pearl. Amethyst? I'm guessing. I'm just guessing here. Emerald. Okay. So, I wonder... Hang on. I wonder if you can go out of this door just to insult Loki. Hey, I made it in. The door is locked from the other side. Okay, so you can't insult Loki by, by coming out of the room, his favorite room. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wasn't expecting a fight here. I hope I'm ready. Like, sincerely. I really hope I can do this. I'm gonna take this seriously. It seems like a boss fight. And the thousand yen bill was in there, so... This may be a mini boss, so let's try to do this properly. Uh, let us Tarunda. Just so that you don't hit too hard. For Makoto, you can. I wonder. Ice? Absorb ice? Okay, okay. Mabufula. Thank God my MC is currently on the ice Magatama, so we won't have the problem any problems there. Is ice weak to lightning? Not no well, not this time. So I guess lunch for now. Boom, 75. High Pixie can debuff, please. Bicorn. Bicorn, I I I really just put in this guy because I, I needed a stronger fourth member than Lilith. So let's see if I can inflict blind. Miss. Okay, let's not force that. Yow. Okay, we, we might be in a bit of a, a pickle here. Let's just attack. Because now that we're now it's 3v 3v1. And I'm not sure how strong this guy is. Who is this? Shisa again. Feral Claw, please. Missed. Damn. Lunge. We also lost our debuffer. Well, one of our debuffers. Nice. Everyone dodge. Secunda, because you're literally god dodging me. And lunge for Makoto. Crit, nice. Bicorn can have a turn. Try to inflict charm, please. If not, just damage him. Okay, charm worked. And we're out of MP, so that's Feral Claw. What's what's he gonna do? Is he gonna attack it himself? Oh, okay, no, it just gave us a free turn. Free attacks then. Another lunge. Might want to heal though. Charm Bite really hurts, so I can't keep doing that. Try to sleep. Weakness! Okay, it's weak to sleep. I'm just sad that uh, High Pixie won't get any XP from this. But it is what it is. Mabufula. 44 Bicorn Shisa. Keep attacking. Nice! Okay, we did it, guys. Oh, it was only 100 XP, so it, it, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. And I don't even think that was a boss boss. Because there's no cutscene after it. So that was just a normal everyday boss. I guess the difficulty of this game really is starting to shine through. And let's summon Hypixie again. 
Me also, I think I just got unlucky with the the, the 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 dodges. The boss got got dodged, and maybe a mid. Now this is, this should be good. This should be good. Anyway, let's get out of here, and I will jump cut back to the. What do you call this? Jump cut back to the uh, Great Underpass of Ginza. Yeah, there. All right, so let's just hope that the thousand yen <gasps> bill. An actual bill. Yeah, I hope it's enough for this guy. We had a deal, right? Well, hand it over. Convince the guy upstairs first. You hand it over the thousand yen bill. Okay then, a deal's a deal. Uh, hold on a sec. This better work. Here you go. Give this letter to the gatekeeper. It should get you through. What? What do you even have on the gatekeeper? Do you have dirt on the gatekeeper or something? You obtained the mannequin's See letter. Later. Hope you get to Ikebukuro safely. I sure do hope so myself, bruh. I sure do hope so myself. Um, okay, maybe some updates because I haven't really been talking about it much. This is how my party looks right now. Uh, I have Bicorn, Hypixie, and Shisa. I also was able to get an Angel and Isora. But you, these bottom three, Angel, Lilim, and Isora, I think I'm just going to be using them for fusing. Because I want to get an Archangel somewhere down the line. Kodama is also fusion materials. But I'm saving him for when I get a dedicated healer. So I might use Kodama for to transfer media. But... Yeah, I don't I don't know how I haven't really planned it out all that well. So, let's see j what happens. But basically, I can't give up uh Kodama yet because he's my background healer. And the other three, well, you know, yeah, as I said, father. How many times do I have to tell you? I can't let you pass. You only told it to me once, bro. Don't get so mad. You gave the gatekeeper the mannequin's letter. Huh? A, a letter from him? <laughs> I, I'm pretty- I think- I think this guy's getting blackmailed. I got it. If that's the case, don't let me stand in your way. Go ahead and pass. I wonder what kind of dirt that weird guy has on you. Can I- Ask me anytime you want to get through. I actually want to ask you about the letter. But, nah, maybe not. Alright, so we're in a new area. Let's go right. And I'm immediately punished for going right. Uh, okay, nobody knew, so let's just cut this out. Alright, so let's see what this door on the right, where this door on the right goes. Hopefully it's not a... I just said hopefully it's not a dead end, but apparently it's a dead end. Our game. Alright, so while trying to get around that dumb... <laughs> That dumb contrivance, I leveled up again. Uh, you know, let's put one more into Aji. This is okay, yes. Because, you know, uh, being fast is actually kind of an advantage, you know? Because if you're... What's, what's happening? The flames of the menorah of Sovereignty are flickering wildly. I don't like this. What, what do you mean the menorah of sovereignty is flickering? I'm gonna take that as you're about to enter a boss fight. Go heal. <laughs> and heal we shall. Skull boy! Anyway, yeah, I want to add some Aji because I, you know, it. the Aji is the dodges. And I really need the dodges. As well as going f first and all. The G -G 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 Grim Reaper up ahead. Okay, if I know my Persona 4 and I hear the scythe, scythe sounds, I'm not gonna like this, am I? You can feel the presence of a terrifying the demon. Flames of the menorah beckon me to the battlefield. I was afraid of that. I know not who you are, but if you have a menorah, it is our destiny to fight. I didn't even want the menorah. Some lady and old dude gave it to me. Let us do to the death within my realm where none can interrupt us. Uh, huh? What? 
Where are we? Is this like hell only smaller? Only one of us will escape this domain alive. The victor shall claim the loser's menorah and return in triumph. You hold a menorah. Then, like me, you must be seeking supreme power. No, bro, I just want to remake the world. Supreme power has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Huh? That I cannot allow. Uh, a Spanish skullboy? Only the greatest warrior is worthy of such authority. Are you a matador, the guys that fight bulls? It is meant for a master swordsman. I I'm sorry, bro, I don't have a sword. One who amidst blood and applause has put an end to countless lives. That warrior is I, Matador. Okay, I was right. He is a Matador. I'm sorry to say, but you seem rather weak to be in possession of a menorah. Oh, I'm sorry, but look at my cool tattoos. You should hand it to one more deserving, such as I. But since it's unlikely that you'll heed my advice, I challenge you to a duel. Can I not accept? We shall determine which of us is truly worthy of the menorah. Guys, I think I'm screwed. I swear by my sword and capote that I will once again prove victorious. Now, let the battle begin! Can we not? I guess peace was never an Try option, huh? With all your strength, your horns cannot pierce my soul. Oh boy. <laughs> Evasion and hit increased by four stages and then Mazan. Okay, we haven't even gotten into the fight proper and I'm already feeling kind of bad about this. All right, so what are we gonna do? He has high evasion. Like, we can Sakunda him down just so that I don't miss. Decrease enemy's evasion. Uh, I'm not sure what your elemental weaknesses are, but I don't want to sacrifice my HP for it. I missed. So let's try not to do that for now. Can... Hi, Pixie. Do you have Tarunda? Oh, no. She has Tarunda and Rakunda. But no Sakunda. Then I guess you can Rakunda for now. Ow! All nda effects have been cancelled. Okay. So how am I supposed to do this? Because I don't think I'll be able to hit you. Can we use items? Oh yeah, we can use items. Uh, we're gonna need serious brain power here. Okay, Bicorn, don't die. Rakunda. And we can play the same game, Sukunja. Yeah. So if he's just going to keep taking my Nda skills off, I might as well just pass and give it to Bicorn, right? Isn't that what I can do? I, oh, I hit him. <laughs> uh, are you weak to wind? No, you're, you're you're even block wind. Let's just use this. Let's just use Sukuja on our party. If he's not gonna let... Oh, crap. Oh, boy. I need... I need a revive, revival bead. Hi, Pixie. Attack? 
But we're not even in the... We're so dead. We're screwed. Lilim, get out of here. I'm not even sure what we can do. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> can we... Hang on, we need to revive... Hang on, where is Bicor? We need to revive Bicor. We need to get the... Evades back up. High Pixie. We, we can't do anything here. Lilim. What can you do? Can you charm? Block. No, you can't charm him. And we're dead. Congratulations to us. Well, at least we're going to heaven, right? <laughs> we're not stuck as a demon. What's going on? The comfort of death will come for men and demons alike. By the guidance of the great will, I am dead. <laughs> All right, let's try to get back. No, more importantly, let's try to not do that again. <laughs> All right, screw that path. I'm going this way. I'm betting that that was a scripted fight because it literally pulled you out of the map. So I'm not going that way first. I don't think I can handle it. So yeah, let's just go this way. <laughs> oh crap. Do we have to go that way? Do we really have to go that way? Let's do this. Only, let's try not to fail this time. <laughs> ice breath? Are you weak to ice? Mm, well, you dodged it, so I wouldn't know. So, sh the guy gets rid of all the Nda skills. Meaning, I need to find a way. Yeah, see, he gets rid of all Nda skills. I need to find a way to hit him. Basically. Alright, attempt number one again. Well, not really number one. Attempt number three for... The flames of the menorah beckon me to the battlefield. Yeah, attempt number three for Matador. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so I have a new plan. Uh, our MC has anti-force. Blob has also anti-force and for now I'm gonna pass and try to get his evasion and hit rate down While Bicorn gets our evasion and hit rate up. The idea is we want to hit him, right? We, we, we can't We can't simply, you know, just keep Trying to hit him without debuffing him. Um, yeah, more pass Shisa, more Secunda Mazan. See? MC is getting blocked. Everyone else was well, get, getting hit, but Blob isn't getting hit as much. So once again, we pass. Shisa with Secunda. I think that's gonna be our last Secunda for now. Bicorn on number Sukaja. And Blob, I give Blob Medea. So he's the one least likely to die, and he's the one that's actually most important. So let's try, let's try to start hitting Matador. Nice dodge. Uh, let's just keep going. Attack. I hope this works now. Then Bicorn, one more Sakunja. Just, just, for, just to be on the safe side. Blob, you don't need to heal yet. Everyone is fine. So you can do Tarunda, I guess. Mazan. Okay, everyone, everyone's dodging better. I think we can take turns to hit him now. Let's try Venom Claw just for the loot. 69, not that good, but you know, Charm Bite, will this work? 
critical. Okay, nice. So since that took up some HP, that's Gumedia again. And let's try not to use more HP skills because Blob is getting low on HP basically. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Can I still hit you? Well, I can still kind of hit you. But we need to get some Secunda down again just to be safe. Bicorn. Uh, you can attack. So is so can you blob? All right. Impressive. But the moment of truth is beyond your grasp. I alone can discern it. Right. So says you. Tekunda, all right. You know, at the end of the day, it kind of helps me too because, like, if you have to use a skill to remove um, my debuffs, then it's like, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> all right, so Shakra drop on Shisa because he is running out of MP. Then Shisa can go back to doing Sekunda. Bicorn, maybe as another Sukukaja. I, I'm not sure if the buffs in this game have time limits. And you can hit. Taunt. Enraged defense is drastically different. Aha! Uh -huh. Almost killed us, but not quite. Shisa. Can you do Tarunda? We, we can't afford that much pain. Bicorn. Hit him again. And Blob Medea. Nice. I think we can actually do this. Yeah, keep wasting turns on that one. Focus. Building up power, huh? This is gonna be oof. We have to kill him like today. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, it worked. It worked, it worked. Alright, I leveled up. Please customize your stats. Uh, luck. Luck because I got lucky. No. Uh, <laughs> more strength. Yeah. Our, our high rolls in, the previous, in this fight actually saved us. 96 is, you know, a big deal. You obtained the Memora of Foundation. And then... And then you just send me back so, here? those holding menorahs did attract each other. Did you just use me as your guinea pig again? I have a favor to ask of you. Uh-huh. There is no hurry, but could you bring your menorah to us? And how would I do that? I will allow you access to the Labyrinth of Amala from the terminal. Uh... Sure. <laughs> I will explain the details upon your arrival. You know, it's not like we didn't fight to get out of there. Now we just teleport back in. Because we want to, you know? Until then, please ensure that the menorah remains in your safekeeping. I mean, unless I suddenly die or something. You can no longer hear the lady's voice. Alright, screw moving forward. I'm gonna go save. This was a momentous occasion, IMO. Alright, so I think I'm gonna call the episode here. I was actually looking online to see if anyone else had problems with Matador because I don't think you guys realize but I, I had to level like three times, change up my strategies, fuse a bunch of demons. There was literally two hours between the second attempt and third attempt. That's how much time I had to spend on it. Anyway, I was looking online after I actually beat Matador and yeah, everyone actually has trouble with this guy especially the first time they fight him. So I'm kind of happy I was able to do it now. Anyway, um, hopefully we can see Hikawa and what he's up to in the next episode. So for now, this has been Caffeinified Gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one.